Hey, good morning to you there, Jerry, back with you again today. I wanted to make another quick video on these oil injection check valves, and I have tons of these engines that come in with failed check valves or check valves that are on the verge of going completely out. This is extremely important. There's so much misinformation that goes around on these things. Uh, this is the oil injection check valve. This is a 225 EFI Mercury. Uh, all of the EFI Mercs, the V6s, excluding Optimax, has that type of check valve. Here's your part number for it from Mercury, 21-42481, space, space, one. Now, I wanted to show you the uh, internals of this check valve. You can see the little spring, and you've got the rubber tip needle right there. This is a kind of a mock-up. That's not the exact, <coughs> excuse me, the exact rubber tip needle that's in there. But it's, a, it's very similar to that. So imagine that spring and needle is built into this brass check valve assembly in there. And I actually cut one open here a couple of years ago because I wanted to see what was in there. Was it a check bowl or a spring or what was it? And it's actually the same as a carburetor needle. So these tips on these needles wear out. You can see the rubber tip down there. Let me zoom that a little bit so you can see that. That rubber tip will get grooved out and wore out. And the stainless steel part, the barrel of that needle, will also get worn out. So what happens is, is that sticks open generally. So the check valve serves two purposes on the engine. Number one, it will open at the correct time to allow oil from our onboard tank via the tubing right here. The oil pump up down there is going to put just a little low pressure oil pump flow out. So it's pushing oil up here. Okay, we don't want any gas to come back this way because when these check valves get wore out and stuck open, they will contaminate the oil tank here with gas. It'll work its way down over time. This can get very gassed up and you will blow the power head from that. I can't tell you how many motors I've had for the last 30 something years I've seen blowing up from that. So uh, the other purpose is, of course, it meters oil into the fuel stream at the correct time. It opens as closes as needed, uh, depending on engine RPM. So at faster RPMs, it's going to work faster. Uh, at slower RPMs, it slows down. And of course, we have a variable output oil pump. Okay. So, you know, don't condemn the oil injection as being terrible and unreliable because most of the time that's what happens to those. So if you haven't changed that, if you have an EFI Mercury, not Optimax now, Optimaxes don't use this, go ahead and get this thing replaced. This one's about $70. It's went up this year, about 25 bucks. So uh, if your tubing is questionable, this is the tubing from Mercury. There's your part number. Uh, do not go to the hardware store and get aquarium tubing on a bulk, bulk roll because the oil will turn it hard and it'll break off and you can imagine what happens to your power head. So make sure you use the Merc tubing. If it were me, I would replace that tubing and just get it done because I like to pull the hood off and you know see how, you know, how the oil looks in there and whatever. So. If you have a carbureted model, this could be some of the two-cylinder, three-cylinder engines, uh, 135, 150, 175, all use this check valve. Get these from Mercury. Stay off Amazon. You're going to get junk. I would get them from Mercury because I can't overemphasize how important it is to have this updated because... These check valves wear out, and these motors come in, and they have had all of the oil injection removed. The uh, blue oil tank, the hoses, the check valves, they take that off, and then they tell the customer, you better pre-mix the oil because you're going to blow the motor up because your oil injection's terrible. Well, you are going to guzzle oil by the gallon on this big motor because at 50 to 1, I mean, you better buy a case of oil because it's going to just... It'll suck it down. So let's get these engines maintenance up. The rest of this is very reliable on this oil injection. That check valve, I'll tell you, 
I'm going to say it's probably 70 to 80 percent of the problems. You can have electronic failures. You know, you got your float switch. Uh, you know, and that gets ruined because of the gas. When these st stick open, that gas gets in there and fills that tank up. This gets very gassed up. It not only can blow the motor up, but it ruins the float. And you have to buy that whole tank complete whenever that happens. So you can see how important it is to get these taken care of. So anyway, I wanted to throw that out to you. Hopefully that'll help somebody. And I'm going to probably put this on YouTube also. You can check it out there. Alrighty. Thank you very much.